I'm going to bring you something that has like a very juicy title. It's the three most powerful copywriting workflows to double your conversion rate. I think you wrote triple. triple. Well, yeah. Now, like, just think it's a triple. Uh, your conversion rate long term presented to you in some juicy stories about models, millions, and the number one best selling book. Who's down to hear that? <laughs> now, a few people at least. Okay, better than nothing. Okay, so first of all, what's in it for you today here? So, first, how I quintupled, and this is like really, I really quintupled it, my client's landing page conversion rate within 10 minutes by using the 4U formula plus how you can do the same with your own funnel. It's a pretty simple technique, but it's one of the most powerful copywriting techniques that you can use um, to yeah, increase your conversion rate. Second point, what a long conversation with a Ukrainian model taught me about boring conversations and how this helped me to make my client's book a number one bestseller in German bookstores plus on Amazon. And the third is, how my beautiful girlfriend, who is always late, uh, helped me to create one of the best performing freebie landing pages of my career in less than half an hour. All right, let's do that. First of all, for the guys who don't know me yet, um, who is this guy with the strange shirt and why should you listen to that stuff instead of going to the bathroom and check your Instagram? Um, these are the clients I worked with. Um, Fortunately, most of you guys are German or like have something to do with the German market. So this is not completely useless because if I would do that in the US, nobody would know anybody here. Um, so yeah, I was working for Bodo Schäfer, did a lot of his launches, was making the last big book launch, was working with Simple Club, Naga, which is a 500 million market cap company. Fastlane Marketing is also a brand that a lot of guys know and yeah, the rest, let's not waste time here. <laughs> so, okay, who am I? My name is Philip Fulmer. I have this nice video here. Um, in general, I created more than 18 million euros of revenue for my clients. Um, a few months ago, we started the first German copywriting training. It's a training that, pe that teaches people how to start their own business as a copywriter. We started in February. Now we have almost 200 students and more than 500,000 in revenue which is a very nice start and I'm very proud and very uh, um, yeah, thankful for that. And then, yeah, I'm doing copywriting consulting for many brands. So, but now the more interesting part for you guys. So one of my clients came to me with her landing page and the conversion rate was 3.33% which was all right for cold traffic, but we changed it and we increased it to 13.11%, which quintupled it, basically. I think that's more or less accurate. Um, and the cool thing is we just took 10 minutes to do that. So the question is, how is this possible and how can you do the same thing with your page? The answer is, um, yeah, let's start with a quote by David Ogilvy, uh, one of the copywriting legends. Who knows who David Ogilvy is? Oh, that's surprisingly not so many people. It's the founder of Ogilvy and Matters, like one of the biggest marketing uh, agencies in the world. And Ogilvy used to say, well, on the average, five times as many people read the headline as read the body copy. When you have written your headline, you have spent 80 cents out of your dollar. That means whatever you do in marketing, the headline is one of the driving forces. So you use your headline to grab attention. And if it's not catchy enough, it's not, if it's not sexy enough, nobody will read the rest. So for example, when you write a, an email and the, yeah, like the, the, the title of the email is not sexy, nobody will click on it. So it doesn't matter how good the email is, nobody will read it. And that's why it is important to write sexy headlines. And if you have a good headline, it's like the big domino. It's like tick, 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 tick. Everything else will fall into place. And this is not just for emails. It works for landing pages, for mails, for ads, and of course also for videos when you have like a pattern interrupt. Because like the first two sentences that you say in a video grab the attention of your potential client. So now you maybe ask yourself, how to make your headlines sexy. And the answer to that is you use the 4U formula and write it down. This is like super fucking powerful. It's basically about four U's. The first is unique. The second is urgent. 
The third is useful. And the fourth is ultra specific. So one more time, the four use are unique, urgent, useful, and ultra specific. So what does this have to do with headlines? Let's first talk about unique. Every day you get shit tons of messages on social media all over the world. You walk down the street, there are billboards, people shouting at you, there's so much information. So your job as a marketer is you have to stand out a little bit and you can do that by being unique. So for example, this is a copywriting classic. This is almost a hundred years old. The amazing money making secret of a desperate nerd from Ohio. This is strange and you don't read that stuff every day. So it sticks out and you want to know what a desperate nerd from Ohio can teach you about money making. And this is basically the, the thought that you can always use when you write a headline. How can I make it more unique? Like it also has a little bit to do with how you present your offer in general. Like how can I make something remarkable that it actually stands out, that it is unique? And you can also um, already communicate this in the headline. <coughs> so the next view is urgent. So how can you make everything a little bit um, yeah, more urgent. Bring in some urgency, bring in some scarcity and <coughs> tell your clients why they should take your offer now and not just in a month and tell your clients why they should read your email, your advertising, your landing page now and not just tomorrow because maybe tomorrow it's gone already. So that's the key basically. And you can use, when you have a landing page, you can use your sub headlines. What I really like to do is um, have like a catchy headline in general and have a sub headline that says something like only for the first 95 customers or something like this, or only until Wednesday the 15th of October. Um, and what you should also always ask yourself in this context of urgency is how can you make your offer sound strictly limited right from the very beginning? Like this is the key to it that everybody knows, okay, whatever I'm going to read here, this is something special. Maybe this is a once in a lifetime chance. Next, you on our list is useful because if something is unique and urgent, but I have no need for it and it's completely useless, I don't really give a fuck about it. So um, it's important to have some usefulness in your communication. So create the illusion that only reading your ad or the email or whatever you're writing is already solving a little bit of your client's problem. So sometimes you have to, like in Germany, we have the Bild Zeitung, like a super shitty, crappy newspaper, but they always have headlines that grab your attention. And when you read it, you feel like, okay, this will change my life somehow at least that <laughs> you can basically use that framework uh, also for your headlines. So you can, for example, use those classical how to or like how I fixed my dating issues and how you can also do it, something like this. The very important thing is that you address the problem behind the problem. So I was talking about dating, for example, now. And when you talk about dating, don't just think about dating in like a very uh, shallow perspective. Ask yourself, why does somebody really want to improve their dating life? Do they want to find their soulmate? Do, you, do they want to have a lot of superficial sexual activity? Or like, what is the really deep motivation behind everything? And this is something that you can also communicate in the usefulness of your headline. And what we were doing in the example that I um, was uh, yeah, using this framework for, it was a training about um, how to teach children how to get better in mathematics in school. And the old headline was something, it was talking about better grades, it was talking about a good career later for your child. But when we were really listening to the parents and to their children, they didn't give a shit about the career or good grades. What they really wanted is that their little boy goes to school and have fun anymore. 
or have fun again because those children were suffering. They hated to go to school because the teachers didn't believe in them. It was just a sad misery. And what the parents wanted, that their son wants to go back to school and be happy again. And so we created uh, this in the headline and communicated this in the context of usefulness. The next part is ultra-specific. And ultra-specific is, for example, a lot of headlines go something like this, how to lose weight by eating more. This is like something unique already, it's something creative. But what does mean eating more? Like what is the specificness of this? How to lose weight? Like how much weight? And why the fuck should I lose it? So what you could do, for example, is like how to lose eight pounds in 12 weeks by eating more sweets. This is like unique and this is ultra specific. And whenever you write a headline, ask yourself, how can I make it a little bit more specific? Because there is a lot of magic in this little thing. Here's another example. Earn your first 1,000 euros in the next three weeks. Um, 1,000 is a very generic number. What you can use instead is earn up to 1,034 euro in the next three weeks, which is like, which creates the illusion that this is like a real measured number or something like this. And this is a twist that you can also always use in your headlines. Um, yeah, just rush through and like, I know that there will be a lot of questions, but let's do that in the end. So um, to summarize this part, Reread your headlines and use the 4U formula. Unique, urgent, useful, and ultra specific. So, the next juicy story that I brought to you guys. Um, what a Ukrainian model taught me on a dinner about boring conversations and how this helped me to make my client's book a number one bestseller in German bookstores plus on Amazon. So how did that work? Like actually, as you can see here, like I was in Ukraine where it was like a still very beautiful place. Unfortunately, that's not the case anymore. And um, there are a lot of German entrepreneurs. They used to live in Kiev. Probably they don't do it right now. Um, and we often made parties, like dinner parties together. And I remember I was this one evening invited to a birthday party of one of my friends who lived there. And he brought this Ukrainian model and she was sitting next to me and I was like, oh, okay. Like we started to have a conversation. And she was constantly talking about herself, like about what she's doing on the shows and what she's buying and where she's traveling and how cool she is and who she knows. I was like, uh-huh. You, you, you probably know that when somebody's constantly talking about themselves, then it's getting pretty boring and it's like, yeah, you, you, you start to shut down. So at this time, I was doing a lounge for one of my big clients. Um, and yeah, like, let's talk about it later. But what I already said is like, of course, as marketers, we already know it's always about your client. It's never about you. And I thought when I had this boring conversation, how can I bring it to the next level? Because as I said, like it's an obvious thing. We should always talk about our customer and not about ourselves. But I thought, okay, how can I bring this to the next level? And here we had this uh, book launch that I was doing at this time. This is like uh, the new book of Bodo Schäfer. Um, and I had the task to write the whole emails, to write the landing pages, to write the whole marketing thing around it. And actually that was on this evening when I got like a very nice idea that I wanted to try and it really worked spectacularly well. I used a super simple trick. I replaced every I that I had in the whole communication by using you. And every me that I had and every we that I had in the text, I replaced with a you. So whenever I was talking just a tiny little bit about myself, I was instead uh, rewiring it and talking about the customer. So if you want to make it softer, because this is a very extreme pattern sometimes, you can, um, you can include the people and make like a we instead of just talking about you. And um, yeah, like an example would be like, we all want to have happy, fulfilling relationships and you also deserve one. I know that's probably a bit uh, abstract now, so let's look at a few examples. Instead of, I have created something unique for you, you could just say, you have the very limited chance to participate in something unique. 
Or instead of we are inviting you, you can say you are invited. Or instead of I want only the best for my clients, you should say you as my client only deserve the best. So you always reshift the focus a little bit onto your client and make it more personal and make it more um, yeah, persuasive in the end. So always ask yourself when you're writing copy, um, how can I make it even more about them and even less about me? This is the magic of it. So, and this is slide number three. This is my beautiful girlfriend and she's Brazilian, so she's always late and it grinds my gears sometimes so much. And uh, this is how this little chapter has been created. How my beautiful girlfriend, who is always late, helped me to create one of the best performing freebie landing pages of my career in less than 20 minutes. Because actually we have been invited no, like we haven't been invited. We wanted to go out for dinner. And I was waiting already for three hours. It was super late. I was so angry. And like, because I'm nice, I, like, I have this tendency to say fuck that and go, uh, go eating dinner by myself. But we had like to, we wanted to make like a nice evening. So I was waiting for her and was super hungry. And I thought, okay, I just used the time that I have to, to work. And I was working on this freebie page at this time. And because she sometimes forgets to call me, one moment she stu just stood in front of my door. I was like, okay, Felipe, we can go now. And I'm like, okay, well, I, at least I finished it. So I was working on this page and I thought like, okay, instead of making the whole big thing, why not just finish it in 10 minutes and just dump it out and see what's happening? And actually it was the best performing page that we were doing in the whole testing. So. This is like a typical, um, and I hope Thomas um, forgives me that I use his example now. Um, this is a typical page for like a free book, for example. And this is an amazing page. So I always look what the other people are doing and I try to uh, get influenced by that. And as you can see here, like there's a lot of information and like a lot of details, all the benefits, everything you need, all the testimonials. But as I said, I just had like 10 minutes. So I um, realized we often overcomplicate things because sometimes a one pager is enough. And there it is. We just made this thing and you cannot scroll, you cannot do anything at all. You just have the book, you have a headline, you have a subheadline, you have a call to action, and that's it. And whatever we tried after this shitty thing here, it didn't, um, yeah, it didn't perform as good as this one here. So I highly recommend, save your time, go have some dinner with your girlfriend, uh, support her to be on time and have an amazing evening and have good conversion rates by having like a super lean, um, yeah, one pager. So often the key to more <laughs> conversion is to simplify everything. So first make a test, delete everything that is not completely necessary on your page. So when you read everything, um, check what is not necessary here. Like especially if we're talking about a freebie, that's often a lot of things. Like just try to remove all the benefits, remove the testimonials, remove all the scrap. And the next is try to make a one pager instead of a long detailed uh, page. And the third is try to delete full funnel steps because sometimes this is also a very cool uh, thing that I discovered. Sometimes as entrepreneurs, we're very proud because we have created this amazing thing and when they click there, they get this email and then they get this retargeting campaign and then this happens and that and that. Just try to kick all that shit out and make it super simple. Like we have this funnel right now. It's just like one opt-in page, one video, one thank you page and whoever clicks on it gets a shitload of email. That's basically it, what we do. And it works amazingly well. So often try to, yeah, just try to, to make everything more simple. Try to make it as easy and lean as anyhow possible. I realized that often this is like the key to success in all the different elements and funnels. So uh, one time we were testing emails that pitch a product to the list via a long copy sales page. And this is the craziest example for this whole thing versus a short copy sales page versus directly on the checkout page of Digistore24. Like long sales page versus short sales page versus 
ugly thing on Digistore with the click here. And actually, I think I wrote the conversion rates down. Yes, so we had 0 0.3 on the long, 0 0.8 on the short, and 3.5 on the direct thing with the, with the Digistore um, formula. And as I said, like this is a, I think it's a very counterintuitive approach because we always think we need to create something more beautiful, more nice and persuasive, but sometimes simplicity is the king here. So, or it's the key here. Sometimes the key is keeping things simple. Always ask yourself, am I overcomplicating things right now? How could I, how could this whole thing here work even simpler? So, and because it's so simple, I don't have a call to action, I don't have an offer, I don't have anything, but this uh, QR code here that brings you to my Instagram, and it's recently very nice because I have a very, uh, few very nice photos, and if you want to follow me, you can just follow me here on Instagram by screening that thing, and yeah, see a few nice things. So that's basically it. <laughs>